So the actual saying is, it's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. Yeah. And so many people quote that. Um, but I want to know, Rashawn, what that means to you. Mm. What comes to mind when you hear that? It's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. Well, I mean, first and foremost, one of the most iconic quotes, period, right? And you do, you're right, people do quote it a lot, but when I hear it, I'm like, man, like what, A, what does it mean to be a warrior? And what is the garden, right? And then what is the war that we're in? So it's actually like defining these things individually and then pulling them together collectively, right? And so let's let's talk about what what is what is the garden? And I'm like, I think the garden is your life, right? Or the world, if you will. And there's a physical world, there's a spiritual one. And so there's this garden going on that if you're a person who subscribes to the scriptures, you understand that our time on earth, we're here to pull the kingdom to earth, right? And so what does that look like to be in the garden? What does that look like to be in the, the world, if you will? And then it's like, okay, what does it mean to be a warrior? And so as a man of God, I'm like, that's what I like. like I want to be a warrior. Like, I want to be a savage. But to me, being a warrior is not necessarily being physically ready for battle, though I, I, I encourage you to be physically <laughs> ready for battle, but to be spiritually ready for the battle. And so a warrior in a garden is like understanding that there's a war being waged right now. There's a war going on outside, whether we know it or not. And so how do we prepare ourselves for that war? And so my thing is like mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, being in, in, in what we call fighting shape, right? And so what does that look like? Like, how am I gonna be in fighting shape with my family, with my finances, with my friends, with the communities that I'm a part of? I truly wanna be a warrior. Uh, because here's the thing, being a gardener is cool too. Like that's that's the other concept because I'm I'm more I'm an action taker. I'm gonna yeah. go get it. I'll think about the rest later. But being a gardener is cool because if I'm being a gardener, then I'm thinking about what am I doing in this season that's preparing me for the next season? If I'm gardening, I'm not just thinking about today, I'm thinking about the harvest and what mm. do I need to do from here to there. Yeah. And so being a warrior in a gardening school, but being a gardener is fine as well, but the thing about being a gardener is if I'm just worrying about, hey, what am I doing and what's the harvest gonna be, there's this level of equipping and I'm not getting ready for battle either. And so getting ready for battle is important and I believe, and maybe we'll walk through this later, the scriptures lay out how we can prepare for battle and, Ephesians specifically does that. But I have to just, instead of just being a, war, a gardener, I have to be a warrior too, right? And so being a warrior for God in the world and doing the things of God, that's how I look at that quote. So I know I hear it at conferences, I hear it from business folks, but I'm always hearing it on a spiritual level because I'm like, man, I can be in the world and say that I'm a warrior because I'm having success in the world. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the world. But if I'm truly going to be a warrior, what does that look like to be a warrior spiritually to cover my family? And I think that there's a combination too of how do I maintain being a warrior but also approach it from that mindset of a gardener as well man so mm -hmm. it's 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 complex man I tend to overthink things sometimes one of my favorite quotes but I'm looking at it spiritually not just what the world says that that quote is man yeah and I take a look at it spiritually as well and when I think of that quote um I think about this concept a warrior who has gone through battles many battles mm. he can appreciate the beauty in a garden right and and a warrior is is we typically think of a warrior as like this gruff and ready to roll person yep. but when you walk through a garden you have to be gentle mm. you have to be graceful mm. you have to be merciful that's right you have good. to be able to take a step back and and admire the beauty of where you Come are on. even though the war is happening around you Come on. a gardener however can can appreciate the beauty of his garden, but he can't ap appreciate the beauty of war. Mm, and when I think, think and, and I'm not an advocate for, for, for killing people and all this stuff, but, but let's let the truth be known. There has been historically a place and a time for war. 100%. And there is always a place and a time for warrior. But a gardener can never understand, um, let's put it this way. We both play football, right? 100%. Right? Yeah. Football is a grueling game. I don't care what level you play on. I've seen some Pop Warner kids. Going hard, <laughs> going yeah. Hard. Especially these days. These kids, I'm like, bro, I don't know if I was playing like <laughs> that. Right, right. Yeah. right? But like when, when I played football, I remember it hurt. Yep. Like practices were probably worse than games, actually. Like I was just talking days, to. People throwing to, up. Yeah, yeah exactly. Man. I remember that. Like two days, like you go practice for two hours. 
you would break for lunch, watch film, and then you would go <laughs> practice again in the hottest part of the Come day. Come on, man. You know what I mean? And, and it was grueling. But the thing about it is, when you were in practice or you were in games, that brotherhood, that camaraderie, that's where the beauty happens, right? There's nothing better than that. There's nothing better than yep. that because you know, I may get beat this rep, but mm -hmm. my brother's gonna cover me the next Come on. one, right? Hey, or hey, or my brother may get beat that rep, but I'm gonna cover him the next one, Come right? On. Like, you Come know on. what I mean? So it's just I was listening to Jocko Woman, right? On a podcast oh, other because you know, you know, <laughs> if for, for those of you who don't know Jocko, check out Jocko for sure, guys. Check yeah. check him out. Yeah. But but Jocko, um, uh, a commander of, of one of the most elite fighting forces of all time was in uh, Ramadi, Iraq in 2008, Navy SEAL leading everything. And they're talking to him about war. And they're like, man, what are some of the best times of your life? And he paused. He's like, man, this, I, I can't think of any time better than when we were at battle together. Mm. My, when I was in the middle of war, the bloodiest war, the, the hardest battles. And he said, because from that, I was, he said, I saw some of the ugliest things in humanity. But at the same time, I saw some of the most beautiful sides of humanity as well. That doesn't happen without being in the war to your point. It does. Right? And yeah. so it does give you a perspective when you come back is that I'm capable of warring, but there's a certain way that I move methodically and, and more gentle and all of that. I think of Jesus, right? Wasn't that who Jesus was? How he moved about the world when he was here? And he was a war. Obviously, Jesus was a warrior, yes, he the was. ultimate warrior. But he had a grace about him that he's able to move and people followed him and he knew how to move in the garden. But at the same time, he knew that he was here for war. So that's, that's right. right. Yeah, that's right. And 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 that's something that I think is lost to a lot of people. You know, everyone thinks that Jesus was a pacifist. And yes, <laughs> he willingly went to the cross mm. for us. But Jesus would would mentally battle those Come Pharisees, on, man. man. You, you can't be you can't be a pacifist <laughs> and cast demons out of people, right? Come on. You you can't be a pacifist and stand up to the to the um you know the spiritual rulers of the day and say, mm -hmm. listen, you guys are wrong. I mean, we literally see in scripture where Jesus turned over the tables in the temple and was like, you will not do this. You're to being my nice, Canel. You're being nice. <laughs> you said turned over as if he just. <laughs> Well, he also fashioned a wear. <laughs> right? You're but, right. You're right, man. You're right. Je Jesus, like, and, and I love it because it, they say, oh, well, Jesus was pastor. Do you understand that he stood in the face of Rome and said, no, no, thank you. In the face of the Pharisees and said, no, thank you. He flipped the paradigm. He was confrontational. Jesus wasn't passive. He was assertive, right? That's he was right. so assertive. And the thing I think we, we do sometimes in our culture, and not to get off track, but the warrior side of us is like, that means I'm aggressive. Oh, uh, no, not necessarily, right? It means you're assertive, which means to the point you know how to be graceful in the garden and you know how to be confident in war. Yes, that's And it's right. like, that is the dichotomy. That is the challenge, man. Yeah, because even if you think about this concept, you can't be a warrior to your wife. You can be a warrior man. to defend your wife. Man, that's good. Come but on. you better not be a warrior when you're talking to your Come, wife. That's good, man. I've right? tried that before, man. I realized that <laughs> I she was tougher to. than me. But no, like, 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 but it does not work. No, that doesn't work. Hey, if you're listening right now, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't, why would you do it? All the ladies say amen. But it's like, no, like, really, though, you're right. And it's understanding. There's a, a, a spiritual maturity that comes with understanding. Like, you could be a jujitsu champion, a UFC champion. And there's a time to be able to inflict what you know, your skill set, in the right environment. But at the same time, you scale back and understand, man, this environment at home is not for that version. It's not of me, for right? that version. Yeah, yeah. That's good, man. That's your garden. You better become a gardener. There at home. we go. You Over. better become a gardener. Delicate, at home. man. I'm <laughs> yeah. still learning that. I'm yeah. Still learning 